Next, we will apply dynamic reversal with mass flexion and mass elongation. And this time, we will apply PNF uh, diagonal on the upper and lower limb. So, for this movement, uh, the hand placement of the therapist could still be on the pelvis and the shoulder, or we could apply it on the distal arm and um, uh, distal thigh. So, uh, for the starting position, we will have the patient in mass flexion. So we have the uh, shoulder in anterior downward position and the pelvis in anterior up position. Now the upper extremity is in D2 extension. The lower extremity is in D1 flexion. And uh, let's choose the hand placement on the pelvis and shoulder. So uh, here, since we are adjusting the movement uh, posterior and superior, we will have the hand on the posterior scapula, uh, on the superior, on the spine of the scapula. And here, we will have it on the ischial tuberosity. So, the movement I want you to do is to move into mass elongation, which we just did. And here, you will extend the trunk. And, yes, exactly. At the same time, you will extend the lower limb and abduct it. And extend, uh, flex and abduct the upper extremity. Exactly. Move back to the start position. And I will put one hand placement for the resistance. Okay, now extend. Okay, and I'm resisting the shoulder and the pelvis movement. Now I change my hand placement and now uh, flex yourself. Okay, good. Now let's do it one more time. Extend. Okay, and now flex. Okay. Now to feel more resistance on the extremities, we could, as we said, change the hand placement. I will move into uh, sitting on the heel, raised heels. Okay, so I will put my hand here and here, and I want you to extend. Okay, and I resist through the range. Now flex, 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 flex. Okay, good, extend. Okay, and flex, 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 and relax. 